Part 5 Chapter 36 On July 27th, two weeks after the shooting in Boston, Aaron Hernandez reported to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough for the start of the Patriots training camp. Reporters who'd gathered outside the stadium were joking about Rob Gronkowski's off-season exploits. Among other things, Aaron's teammate had posed for photos with an adult film actress wearing his jersey, and nothing else. Aaron, was your summer as crazy as Gronk's? A reporter asked. Hernandez refused the bait. Um, he said, more private, but I still had some fun. The reporters asked him again about Gronk. They asked what he thought of Tom Brady's off-season cliff diving. They asked him to be a bit more specific about the fun he had had. This is a regular job, Hernandez said. We like to have fun, too. I've been ziplining and stuff like that, too. They can't really tell you what you can and what you can't do, but you just have to be careful about what you do. If you're out there and being reckless and doing some crazy stuff, then that's your own stupidity. While Hernandez talked to the reporters, Boston PD continued its investigation into the double homicide outside of Cure. Don Gobin and Brian Kwan told the police about a silver SUV with Rhode Island plates, a Nissan Pathfinder, they thought, or a Toyota 4Runner. Both men said that the SUV had been driven by a light-skinned, clean-shaven Hispanic man with short hair. One recalled that the passenger had braided hair. Then the witnesses described the shooting's aftermath. Boston detectives also obtained video footage from Cure Lounge, from a nearby parking garage, and from other locations. There was no footage of the shooting itself. An appeal was made to the public. Could anyone help the police locate a silver SUV with Rhode Island plates? Detectives had already looked at various vehicles registered with the neighboring state's DMV, but failed to ID the vehicle in question. None of their efforts resulted in an arrest, or even a suspect. 